I will be showing you the best feature of BigQuery that comes handy and lets you, the user, be able to time travel. You heard it, time travel. It lets you access stored data in BigQuery that has been either changed or deleted. You can access data from any point within the time travel window, which covers the past seven days. Let's start the hands-on lab, showing you this awesome feature of BigQuery. Let's first create the data set, call it BQ time travel via the CLI. Let's create our first table inventory and add some data to it. Let's see if the data has been loaded successfully. Now, we do want to make sure that we capture a current date in milliseconds when the table was created. We will drop the table by the drop table command in SQL. Let's try to see if the table exists. So we should get a table not found uh, error message. So now we need to restore the data via time travel using this BQ copy command. We will also use the, the timestamp in milliseconds uh, in the decorator to get that snapshot. So we're just preparing the script here. So let's copy that in the CLI. Let's run it. So this way it will capture the snapshot into the inventory restored table. Now that's done. Now we want to copy the data from the restore table to the actual inventory table. So we'll do the reverse and then use again the CP command. And now we'll see if the data has been loaded. So as you can see, we have successfully copied over the data. So let's say if somebody has deleted a record in our inventory table. So as you can see, we have about six records. Um, by accident, somebody deletes a top load washer record. So we'll just try to mimic that and uh, see if we are able to recover that through time travel. So the record has been successfully deleted. Let's check it out. Okay. All right. So now we will use the system underscore time as of uh, keyword to bring back the snapshot that the table had about a minute before. So let's run this. So you will see that top load washer record in this snapshot. Now we need to also use the BQ copy command and use the time in milliseconds uh, to go back and get that snapshot. So we will use this converter that you can get from currentmillis.com. Put the time in for a minute before and it will give us the milliseconds. I will copy the milliseconds and run the command. So what we'll do right now is we'll use the snapshot restore table and get the delta from the current table using the accept distinct keyword we should only get one record. Great. Now we can use the insert into SQL command to get that data back into our original table. And then we can drop the uh, restored table after that. Let's check if the deleted record made its way back into our main inventory table. There you have it. Great. Now you have actually seen a hands-on lab in which you have used time travel feature of BigQuery. Hope you enjoyed it.